his best season. They start with season. They threw for a season low 105 last week against LSU on target to their leading receiver. Spaces. Meyer, former basketball player. Here's the day. Mon can hurt you with his feet as well. Play clock down to two. Auburn brings press. First and ten on the delay. Left guard Kenyon Green is a sophomore. The rest of them are seen. And you're seeing this AM power run. Consuming drive. Aggies lead the conference in time of possession, almost 33 and a half minutes per game. Big body. Three wide receivers out there as well. Short set by Mon. Corner to the end zone. And it is Weidermeyer for a touchdown. A one yard punt. Texas A&M on offense for the second time. The first one ended in a touchdown. Digit tackles in those first two games against Kentucky and Georgia. A&M on the get to the six games necessary to play in the Big Ten championship game. Good fake by Mond. Plenty of and a very sharp on offense after the sluggish performance last week against LSU. Launch point, moving Kellen Mond this time. Weidermeyer dragging across the field, gets separation. He's just about as talented as Weidermeyer. Mond, plenty of time and an open station. Year we did not. Personal foul. Shot block. Offense number 85 and 65. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Remains second down. Offensive and defensive lines. Second and 19 against pressure. They set up a screen. Nice call by Jimbo Fisher. Again, second and 19. You call this play just to get some of the yardage back. You're not really calling it necessarily to get 20 yards, but you give yourself a Four-man rush, Mon steps up. Shining light in their life with beautiful Kaylin Grace, Kalani Grace. Big nation are paid out of money that this... Their ability to sustain blocks and work well together, very impressive. 28 yards for Devon A-Chain. and m on the move. Good games, only three sets, and two of those came in the first game against Vanderbilt. Second and eight. Kellen Mon, another wide open receiver. Another run, he cuts it off. Well, now you just fake that run, and you've been running with so much success, you have to honor it. He slips out into the flat. It's an Isaiah. And that's what they tried. Third down and goal. Mon faked it to Spiller. He's running. Just didn't get it off to Weidermeyer. Monday, watch number 21 make a tackle on a big receiver to keep him out of the end zone. Mon gets rid of the football. Now watch the tackle by Monday. Here comes Kellen Mond and the Aggies starting from the 20. Approaching three minutes to go in the half. Lots of time for Kellen. Field goal. Auburn brings. Using the clock, they have plenty of time. They don't want to leave Auburn time. And this possession's over. Minute and a half to go. It's here. Time is not a problem for AM. Miller running with so much more violence. And down here, uh, they're number five. They do have a head to head win against Florida. They don't realize that AM maybe is the more complete team. They were that day in College Station, Brian College Station. In the West, but that matchup seems likely. They hope that Florida gets hit. Auburn brought a blitz. The blitzers. Kevin Steele told us he was playing with a very sore rib cage, injured early in that game. Lead before the two for 16 last week against LSU. Here comes pressure. Bond escapes. Throws on the run. 
College football playoff, which starts with the semifinals on New Year's Day. Cameron Buckley injured in the preseason. Bond after. Nice run. Good decision. out of Missouri City, Texas. The great speed. Trying to get him in the open. Auburn has struggled lately to stop the run, and that's been the case again today, and it's the case on this 10-yard line. Well, a nice job by Weidemeyer getting a block downfield, staying on his man. Four-man rush at Kellen Mond. Situation where maybe they could use their regular kicker, Seth Small. Mond. Felt pressure is not stopping the action. So on we go. Mon down the seam, deflected and caught for a touchdown. Weidemeyer has it after it looked like it was going to be intercepted by a disconsolate Zacoby McClain. Mon looking for his favorite target. Doesn't get the ball quite high enough. McClain gets both hands on it, but Weidemeyer there to catch the deflection. And McClain did everything right. He read the quarterback's eyes. He, he was in position. He just didn't make the play on the ball. Two interesting plays in a row that go against Auburn. A low extra point is good by Seth Small. McClain, junior linebacker from Valdosta, Georgia, does have one career interception. And should have had his second. Here's the catch by Chase Lane. Did this ball hit the ground and bounce back up into the receiver? Oh, hard to say. And then right after that, a near interception turns into an Aggie touchdown. It's over. 100 yards rushing for the fifth time in the last six games. They stick with him, and he gets knocked back on. Called a culture-changing victory. They haven't lost. Since that game, wide receiver. He's a good route runner. He pushes to the inside on Monday. It's hard to play man to man for nine for the year, leading all SEC tight ends. Option. Mon keeps it. Good. Auburn, the previous two games, had given up more than five yards per. Play clock at two. Second and 11. They do throw a deep ball to formation from Texas AM. Spiller leading the way. Six minutes to go. Four man rush. They don't affect Mond. He does Just a little drag route. Uh, Official fire has been the target. Nice player. Clean hit by Jamie and Sherman. Backs in SEC history with 9,000 career passing yards and 1,500. Using all of the play clock right now, too. Short pass, wider by the non-interception. Yeah. This one here was almost intercepted. <laughs> I mean, Weidemeyer, that was the freshman. The Aggies today on third down. This is third and four. Again, just a four-man rush. Almost all the play clock. If they pick up the first down, it's game over. And it needed to be made. It was AM who made more of them. And they go to seven and one. Certainly can't imagine them dropping no. in the standing. No.